it's your boy Chips Ahoy, and welcome back to a brand new series where we are farming all the way from nothing to a Hyperion only using the garden. We already did it on an island a year ago, and we're back to do this on the garden to farm all the way from zero to the best weapon in the game. So let's talk to this stranger and head on over. Now that we're here, there are three main rules. First off, all profit has to come from the garden. Secondly, there are no minions allowed. And thirdly, yes, the bazaar and auction house are allowed. On top of that, the bazaar is already unlocked because of our last Hyperion challenge. We did it with the same group, so they need no introduction, but I'll give one anyways. We have the number one and number two best farmers in all of Skyblock, Bankier and Lotzi. We also have the number five farmer, Dom, and the number seven farmer, Melon King Day. Among the group is the number one wheat farmer, cane farmer, and pumpkin farmer. We also have the number two Iron Man wheat farmer, and the player with the most garden visits. So yeah, the group's kind of cracked. With that, I think we can get this thing going. It's going to get kind of chaotic to start here, but my first objective is to talk to Sam. I need 25 wheat. <laughs> ah. Uh, the battle for the week. Yeah. <laughs> I have extra. I have extra. <laughs> replant. Oh, replant. Sam. Here. The machine. The composter. Oh, we have to buy fuel. How are we gonna make 20k? <laughs> we have to use wheat. We got trees. <laughs> oh, have... true. We got the trees. Oh. It's in the garden, I suppose. Yeah. Let's go. Foraging <laughs> to Hyperion. Real. <laughs> this is a nine-person farming to Hyperion, by the way, on the garden. So once we're all set up, this should go crazy. But at the beginning, it might be kind of toxic. Also, I know I have 20 hours of flight duration, but I will not use it. it there's just no way to get rid of it. Make it rain, make it rain. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Items. Let's see what we can sell here. Let's start clicking. Now to the hub to sell the rest on the bazaar. There's a grand when that sells. Oh, we're at two. We need 20. <laughs> gobble. Anybody else need any tools? I'm up to 47, Flint. This is all the gravel from the paths, also. <laughs> we're gonna turn it all into Flint. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can keep money, so... Can't wait till it's just Wait, one block. Let's go! Yeah, let's, let's go! go. Yeah, let's... <laughs> I have bad news. That was only 3.6k. <laughs> Time to turn this into an, a literal just graveyard. Did anybody get saplings? We might have to plant some trees. We grew Look at that tree! tree. <laughs> yeah. And that's one piece of wood! Yo, wait, what? Uh, oh, Coins, coins, give me the coins. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and claim this 10k from the bazaar, from all our goods. I'm at 19.5, 323, 60 coins, let's go. All with right, we're past 20k. We can hit the Sky Mart, buy some biofuel, and throw it in the composter. Two, one, yummy, yummy. Choose whichever plot you prefer. Alrighty, plot four. It's been purchased. Oh my god, we gotta clear out another plot. Gotta clear, clear, clear. 99.9. Let's go! Let's go! Our first plot! Our first plot! Let's go! Now we need to sell and buy seeds, right? Uh, seeds are cheap. I can claim that. Oh. Now back to the desk. We can configure our plot to be wheat. The seeds, they're disappearing. Okay, grow, 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 grow! Yes, wheat, wheat, wheat! Oh, wheat won! We're crazy! <laughs> While that's growing, let's talk to Sam. Sam wants some bread, so we're gonna need a hundred wheat. Give me the yummies. Break a little bit more here. Sam, take the wheat. New objective, find Sam at the shop. Good work. Wheat three, and Jerry wants the bread. Our first visitor accepted. Let's go. Plus 10% crop growth already is actually really nice. For garden level two. Garden level three already. You're crazy. Another 10% crop growth. Anyway, now that we unlock the shop, we do want to start looking and focusing on these visitors. We don't want to unlock them all, but we want to unlock a select few of the good ones to get as much copper as possible. So we already have Jerry unlocked and that was the first one we traded with there's also beth who we can talk to there's madam eleanor who we can talk to so you said madam eleanor was at the museum mm -hmm. yes Ma'am, how are you? Once we finish that chat, we can head to the farming islands and then to the desert settlement. And we can actually come here because we do already have a decent bit of farming XP, farming levels on us from our last challenge. But anyway, we are here to talk to Beth. And then when the time comes, Sirius will appear and we can talk to Sirius to add him as a visitor. And while I'm out, I'm also going to actually visit Cake Hub, go to their island and digest some cakes for some buffs. I'm really here for the speed and the farming fortune. Almost forgot Clerk Seraphine. That's a legendary, so want to talk to her. And then, of course, we're going to want to talk to the librarian. It's not legendary, but 
it does have the chance to drop a really good enchant when it comes as a visitor. Back to the garden. While I was out grabbing visitors, they almost were able to fill the entire plot with wheat. So we're making huge progress here. Garden four, we're crazy. Wheat seven, we're flying. Wheat eight, and everybody else pretty much has enough money to grab the fuel and get those quests going. The lads unlocked our second plot. So while they're clearing it out, I'm gonna go to the desk and repaste some wheat here. It's full once again. And we've got two Jerry's with a third coming. 87 enchanted carrots, 523 hay bales. That's not that bad. So let's hit the hub. I'm gonna sell everything I have, which includes these 10 enchanted hay bales. It'll be 100k. So we need pumpkins. I'm gonna put a buy order in for 40 of them. I'm also gonna want 27 enchanted potatoes. The buy hay orders, bells. they went through. The, uh... We got some enchanted potatoes there for a visitor. Eight pumpkins there for a visitor. We've got Jerry. Oh, I forgot to get the carrots, but we can do these 32 pumpkins. I'm up to 27 copper. That's enough. Yep. That is enough, yeah. Let's go to the Sky Mart. We can get this advanced gardening hoe, which gives farming fortune, but more importantly, we can finally have replenish. W. Boom. W, W. Now we don't have to worry about replanting or replotting, and I can just grind through a ton of wheat and then whatever we plant in the next plot. Did you guys finish clearing that one out? Yeah. We just haven't planted anything yet. Garden five. All right, plant that cane, baby. Go across. Go, cane, go. Cane two. one. Cane two. Cane three. three. We're grinders. <laughs> Dude, I want Amazing. the personal compactor so badly. All right, I think I have enough hay bales. Jerry. 523. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and sell some enchanted seeds, as well as a few enchanted hay bales. Then I'm going to use that money to buy a mystical mushroom soup so I can actually start flying. Let's eat that up. Then I go back and put in a buy order for 87 enchanted carrots because when that fills, I'll be able to go back to the garden and now fly over to Jerry for 13 more copper. At this point, it's just about farming. We need some money for some personal compactors and some other items. So we'll all put our shifts in. A garden six. Kind of wild here. What does that get? Melon? Not bad. Cane 11. After a few times around that farm, though, I'm going to spend some copper on three Sunder books in order to sell them in the bazaar. That'll be 250k. Wait, Clerk Seraphine <laughs> came asking for two cane for yep. 91 copper. Oh. oh my god. That's wild, bro. <laughs> Sugarcane contest. First contest. GG. 50k. Actually, with Clerk Seraphine 2 and all that copper, we were able to get four advanced guarding hose, which we can throw in the auction house. Cheapest one is 259k. So we'll go ahead and match that. And so for four of these will obviously give us 1 million coins. So it's time to buy some personal compactors. There's one for 800k. We can collect some of that money and then we can grab a mill from the bank that Admonium farmed up. And instead of buying a second tier one personal compactor, we can actually buy a tier two. That thing will give us three crafting slots. Now our setups are getting pretty good. So I went ahead and bought some more compost because I would like to get a third plot going. I'll do this one, plot number two. Then of course, let's get the scythe out. We're gonna have to clear this bad boy. Do, 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 do. Plot two is clean. Oh, a contest is starting for wheat and for carrots. Carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and paste some carrots in on this brand new plot. So hopefully this pastes and grows pretty quickly. Garden Ooh. 7. We do be crazy. Plant, 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 plant. Carrot, here I come. One, two, three. I want to jump in here before this contest ends. Give me, give me bronze. Give it to me. Bronze is plus one. Two, one. Let's go. I got 10 Jacobs tickets from that. Plus a turbo care book. That's not bad money. And I go to silver. No way, actually. There's 15. <laughs> No, let's go. Metals are going crazy. A tier one wheat goes for 135k right now. 7 and 90k. Let's go, puffin. Everybody's chipping in. This is amazing. Slush hub. We can sell that wheat book. 118. We'll throw up the carrot for 66. Then all those 26 Jacob tickets for 1.2 mil. Oh, it's sold oh instantly. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. I'm actually going to dump a good bit of that into oil barrels. I want to start producing some compost so we can start getting some more plots. Let's chuck it in there. Since that'll take some time, though, we'll go ahead and just put a buy order in for 16 compost. This is paying double the price, but it'll fill quickly and allow us to get another plot going. So I'll hit the desk and we'll add the one just under plot three. We give my hoe to Puffin for harvesting, and then we're going to actually throw potatoes on this new plot. Boom. From inventory. Confirm paste. After farming through it once for a few garden milestones and for the bronze metal, we can then change it to sugarcane for an infinite farm. But hey, let's go ahead and claim that new bronze. Then we'll sell the tickets. 
that'll be 500k i got two mil in my purse there's another like 500k in the bank guys we're going crazy head back to the garden beth 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 has arrived 356 enchanted sugar i have to make sure i buy this and fulfill that beth order because there's a quest in there that'll get me a beautiful talisman so as soon as that fills we'll climb it up head back to the garden and make that trade for also 93 copper which is kind of crazy gg since i do have a decent bit of copper i feel like it'd probably be worth it now to go into crop upgrades and at least grab like the first two for the crops that we already have for a little bit of extra farming fortune then i'll grab some compost and some hay bales the hay bales are to go ahead and upgrade the speed of our composter well the compost will be used to buy another plot we want this one right here time to clear it out and this one is going to be cocoa beans why well because there's a cocoa bean contest coming up shortly so fast forward to the end of that contest and we yet again secured a bronze Guardian level nine. Now at this point, we can start relaxing. We've got a lazy man who's looking for cookies for 50 copper. We've got Jerry who's looking for 12 mushroom blocks for 200 copper. We're overall making some really good progress and we've got two main goals right now. First off, we wanna start going for melon sets. So each set of a helmet, chest plate, and pants is gonna be about five mil each. We're also gonna want rancher boots, which are gonna be about five mil per. And then on the other hand, we wanna keep doing contests and participating in as many as possible so we can invest in farm building tools. As money is a big part of it i can take my 420 copper and hit the sky mark we're gonna pick up 16 sunder books or at least a lot of them with that we'll be able to craft two sunder five books and a sunder four book which will be 2.6 and 800k with that in mind we just got another bronze medal so we'll claim that up and then run over to anita here we're gonna do some metal conversions to grab ourselves two silvers in order to get the basket of seeds back to the hub though let's go ahead and hit the banker we've got two mil here and so we'll withdraw it all then along with some money from the bazaar we can go to melons and put in a buy order for 100 enchanted melon blocks and we can use those melons to craft up a chest plate pair of pants and a helmet and the five extra are for our friend zog adds farming wheat and carrots so we will pass that on over for him to keep grinding to keep the progress moving we've thrown pumpkin down so we'll work to get a few milestones here in order to make pumpkin farming a little bit better and to take another big step i'm going to withdraw everything from the bank run over to the auction house and see if i can grab some rancher boots let's go for these 5.25 mil and another huge purchase throw down a mushroom farm for those milestones and then check this out 138 cactus green to bank of broad jaw Gives us a uh, unique visitor served milestone as well as garden level 10. All the crops are now unlocked. A couple copper upgrades into wart and we're looking good. Now that we have it unlocked, of course, it's time to paste it on down. The other wart is going to be a big money maker for us throughout this series. When that wart grows, we'll jump in and get some easy milestones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunately, we were not able to get bronze even in this work contest, but still be sure to use code SWEET because big things are happening. Guys, we can claim a ton of money of enchanted sugarcane. Then we can put in a buy order for a stack of compost, claim it up, head back to the garden, to the desk, and unlock one and two new plots. We got a bit of clearing to do, but then we'll be able to have farms five plots long. There's one clean, and there is the second one clean. Now, of course, to build farms on the garden, you're going to need an empty plot. So I'm going to take a builder's roller and get to clearing. Bang, bang, bop, bop. Voila. G -g -g -g. So here's the plan. We're going to go for two infinite wort farms, two infinite wheat, two infinite carrot, two infinite potato. Then we're going to go for on the bottom an infinite sugar cane farm, and right above that an infinite cocoa bean. We're going to use this to get a little bit of money, then down the line we're going to completely change the farm setup as soon as we have more plots unlocked and are at a higher garden level but yeah this is a solid outline so let's get to building i had grabbed the hoe of greatest tilling that we need so then with this prisma pump purchase and with puffin grinding for another wart pouch we should have all the tools that we need let's get the soul sand skeleton down then we'll use the infinite dirt wand with our builder's ruler to get the skeleton going for wheat carrot and potato now for the most exciting step in all of farm building we have to place trap doors between every row by hand. Then we just shoot some water across. We can grab the greatest hoe of tilling and start clicking on each block. Dom, leaving it up to you to plant away and I'm gonna move on to the cane farm. With that dirt outline ready, I know it's extremely beautiful. We can add a little bit of water to the cane farm. Then we can put a buy order in for some jungle wood and place it like so. While Dom is planting, we can go ahead and talk to Beth for the third time. We've got seven mutant nether wart right here and we've got some cords in chat. Then upon mining down, we find a secret area to tell Beth about. Wait, 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 that was Beth, that was Beth. I didn't realize, but she wants me to return to the lab. 
So here we are. Let's go ahead and mine down. There she is. Jake arrives. And there we go. We get Jake's plushie. Not crazy valuable for this challenge, but definitely nice to have. Let's go ahead and throw it in our accessory bag with the speed talisman. As we do all of this visitor stuff, we have a crazy amount of copper, 1.3k. And so let's hit the Sky Mart. At this point, I kind of want to get the full equipment set. So I'll do a Lotus Cloak, a Lotus Necklace, Lotus Belt, and Lotus Bracelet. We still have over 500 though. So let's just quickly grab a couple dedication books and we'll actually sell those. At this point, I've been told everything's planted. It looks quite amazing. And I think it's ready to paste across. So first off, let's go ahead and craft up our small agronomy sack into a medium and then a large so that we can hold all the crops that we need to paste. Then we needed to make buy orders and fill up the sack. Back. Then, of course, we have to hit the desk and save this beautiful preset. We'll call it All Farms. And then we just confirm the paste on the beautiful plot next to it. And, oh my god, it is finally here. The final seconds of the pasting. The farm is beautifully across the whole garden. Guys, it is still day one. Of course, there is one last step, which is to just adjust and fix these edges. But that can be done super fast, and uh, we're ready to go. To kick things off here, I think I'm going to jump into the cocoa bean farm. Let's see if we can get a little bit more money before hopping off the first night. I'm selling those earlier dedication books and... And some cocoa beans along with lots of sugarcane farming gets us to 10 million coins with that I'm gonna go ahead and put in a buy order for 100 more enchanted melons then when that melon buy order fills we can craft ourselves a second melon set I'm also gonna hit the auction house for another set of ranchers boots 5.3 mil and guys I think that is going to do it for day number one on the mega co-op we got two full sets of melon and rancher boots we've got an infinite farms going five plots long we got everybody personal compactors we got everybody some decent replenish tools and we've got everybody using code sweet so truly some amazing work done today the amazing thing about a mega co-op though is that when my day ends other people's days begin we've got au and we've got eu people to take the torch here's Lotzi. i'm gonna head to my equipment and give him this stuff as well and he'll have everything he needs to go crazy very good progress in the first 15 hours indeed we've got the garden to level 10 almost 50 percent to level 11 and we were able to use a pretty awesome strategy by unlocking the legendaries in order to talk to them tons of times so guys i really hope you enjoyed this first episode and have already hit the like button but if you haven't i'll give you a chance to do so now because we we are farming all the way from nothing to an almost 2 billion coin scrolled Hyperion. I would also really appreciate it if you used my creator code SWEET in the Hypixel store. But other than that, I am going to keep grinding and I'm going to hope that I see you in part two. Adios everybody and goodbye. <laughs>